Hi guys, Alex from Genesis Media here. Today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to add some neat little CSS3 animations to uh, elements on your web page that are triggered on page scroll with some JavaScript. Uh, yeah, sounds a little bit complicated and it probably is a bit intermediate, but if you follow the steps, it's not that difficult. So I'll give you a demo on my services page here as I scroll through. You can see I've animated these titles and the animation triggers when they actually come into screen view. So this I've tried this on the uh, tablet, it works on the tablet too. And, uh, and it works on the phone. It's a little bit clunky because of the JavaScript, um, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think as our, I guess the problem is that J JavaScript uses your web browser to um, to get its functionality. So because the tablets and the mobile devices don't have the, the power that our desktops have, that they, they can be a little bit clunky. But uh, I think I don't think it's a drama. So I'll show you what we're going to do. I have a client here, the Shamrock Hotel, and I'm going to apply that effect to these titles on their regular events page. Now we do it with two files. We have animate.css, which is a brilliant uh, little piece of code written by this guy, Dan Eden. And if you just Google it, it'll come up. And uh, we've got this page where you can actually find out these are class names. This is the class that you'll apply to get this animated effect. And it's really handy being able to, to do this. And the other piece of code is our JavaScript by Matteo Asagwell. Uh, I hope that's how you pronounce his name. Um, yeah, so wow.js and um, He's got his little demo page here to begin with. And um, if we click on here, we'll go to his GitHub account. And you can find the code here under distribution. I'm using this one. I tried this one, which is what the uh, their instructions show to use. I couldn't get it working on Joomla 3, so I tried this one and it worked. Yay. So I'll have both these files uh, for download on my blog um, at genesismedia.net.au forward slash blog over here and you'll be able to download these files zipped uh, all ready to go and upload to your Joomla site. Um, if you have any troubles just google this stuff you can find um, he's uh, on the wow.j at the top here he has some documentation as well of how to get this working. It's simple. It's really a, a three-step process. There's two-step process to link it in and then the third step applying the class to the element you want to animate. Um, so yeah, I tried this with the wow.min, the minified, um, minimized version of it. I, I couldn't get it working. So I did the other one, it worked. So excellent. Uh, first of all, we will, for the shamrock, we'll go into, I'm in the C panel here. And I'm going into File Manager. Now I want to go into Templates and choose the template that they're using. And first of all, in the CSS folder, I am going to upload the animate.css file, which is here on the desktop somewhere. Um, no, it might be in Downloads. Here it is. Animate been watching a lot of Hannibal as you can see okay so that's there let's refresh it and just check yep okay so there's anim animate.css now we'll go down to the JavaScript folder if you don't have either of these folders just create them and drop these files in there so once again I'll click upload And uh, you can't see this down the bottom. Open it, it's done. And I'll just reload to check. Yep. Okay, so next thing, I'll go up a level. So we're in our template folder. Our template is RT Paradigm. It's a rocket theme template. Love rocket theme templates. Um, now we have to link these files in. So we open up our index.php file 
go to edit. Now, first of all, I am going to, let's see what I got here. Um, I'm going to link the animate.css file in with this code here. You can get this code from the blog or I'm going to put all this stuff in the comments as well for you. So I'll copy that back over here. Now we want to drop it in just after the opening head tag. Come on, V. Now this looks a little bit difficult, but you can see that the href, the, the reference, um, we've got a little bit of PHP here which just detects your base URL. So it drops your base URL in there, which in this case is the shamrockhotel.com.au. Templates, then it detects the template folder that you are and then it finds CSS folder and you animate folder like that. So now we are going to drop our script in and you can see on the script here we've got that same PHP in here. So this code will work no matter what your URL is or no matter what template you're using. Just drop this in and you are good to go. So copy that. Now best put your JavaScript inside the body but right at the end so just before the closing body tag put the script here and that way your page will load um, first and then it will load the JavaScript so you, if you're running a slow server you, your client um, the website users won't be sitting there looking at a blank screen with the JavaScript loading command V copy that in there Save changes. Okay, now over to the back end of the Shamrock. I've got our first little element here, and that is um, this, and it actually contains this as well, the Poker Knights. So to add this feature, um, this is the JCE editor. I'm just going to jump over to HTML view, and I'll find my H1 tag here. For karaoke nights and I'll add the class class equals wow then press space to add another class and what will we use um, okay I'll, I'll use bounce in we'll just use bounce in for now it's easy I can remember it so bounce in left Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste this for the next title. Control C and free poker command V. But I'll make this bounce in right. Okay, save and close that. What's my next one is Trivia Night. So I'll just. Do a little search here. And we'll do the same thing here. Where is my title? There it is. I'll control V in that class. Wow, bounce in left. Find the next free pool table. There we are. Copy that into the class of the element that I want to, or the object that I want to animate. Right, save and close. What else we got here? That's it. Okay, so refresh the page and see how we went. Bam. There it is. It just created something a little bit uh, different for your website. So I hope you enjoy that. I think it's great. I, I'm going to be using it on a lot of websites. And uh, make sure you go and check these guys out, Dan Eden, and uh, show them some support. Dan Eden and uh, Matteo Aseguel. That's what I'm going with. Enjoy. <laughs>